This morning, fresh reaction to a ruling few were expecting. A federal judge doling out a modest victory for President Trump and the media. It is not the government's job to tell the public what is meaningful in terms of the release of its own information. Giving the DOJ a week to offer redactions before he considers releasing portions of the affidavit attached to the Mar-a-Lago search. Judge Reinhardt saying in court he was not prepared to find the affidavit should be fully sealed, calling it very important the public have as much access to information as possible. Even as federal lawyers warned it would provide a roadmap for where their investigation is headed next and jeopardize the safety of investigators. While news organizations, including NBC News, sought transparency, attorney Chuck Tobin telling the court, you cannot trust what you cannot see. For Trump, it's been all about exposing what he calls a political witch hunt, with a spokesman tweeting, no redaction should be necessary and the whole affidavit should be released. Yet in court, his attorney didn't present any argument, simply observing, nor did Trump's team file any papers asking the judge to make the affidavit public. If he really believed it was abusive, he has an easy remedy. File a lawsuit, like, you know, countless lawsuits filed all the time to say this search violated my Fourth Amendment. He hasn't done that. One case that's already resulted in real consequences, Trump's former CFO, Alan Weisselberg, pleading guilty Thursday to 15 counts of tax fraud. As part of the plea agreement, he's reportedly agreed to testify against the Trump organization at a later date, but not his former boss. Weiselberg decided that he would rather be a convicted felon than snitch against the former president. Trump still navigating a host of legal challenges from New York to Florida that only appear to be deepening. And it does not look like there's going to be a quick resolution to this affidavit with the judge giving the DOJ a week to submit their version of the redactions. Then he'll look and submit his own. They'll go back and forth. That could go on for a while. And at the same time, multiple sources telling NBC News that Trump's political action committee has topped more than a million dollars on at least two days since the search. Hold it back to you. All right, Sam. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.